Welcome to Retrobot, the YouTube channel where we feed a friendly space robot a diet of pure nostalgia. I'm Clay, and I'm here to talk about Transformers Legacy Wild Rider. There is the packaging. We just got him in last week. I was out of town, or you would have gotten this video a week ago. But yeah, we had him on pre-order. He just arrived. This is the third part of the Stunicon series that they're doing, and so it's kind of of exciting. So uh, there is the legacy package wing, package with the vaporwave artwork that is very very cool. I I I, I love the artwork. I, I like that that looks awesome. And uh, of course you've got the logo and stuff, and you've got a picture of the robot mode, and he looks very very good in his robot mode. And we have you know r whole robot and close up robot, and and those are together. And then we've got the other side. Which which has the Decepticon legacy artwork, which looks very, very nice. We have a legacy logo on the top, and then we have a bunch of gobbledygook on the bottom. And then in the back, we have gobbledygook and product package, which my camera does not want to focus in on because it's like, why? Why do I need to focus? You have to focus. It sounds like my teachers in elementary school. And so there you go, you get to see him in his car form and his robot mode, and there is the QR code, which if you click on it, uh, you know, uh, I've clicked on these, and, and once again, the camera says, no, no, I, I don't want to focus on that, and I'm like, please, please? So... You can click on that and you see a computer model of the figure with uh, that's kind of uh, breathing or, you know, kind of moving slightly, you know, has some, some uh, lighting effects and stuff. And it's very cool looking. What I'm really disappointed about is that when you click on these things, it doesn't. It, it, like, I, I was kind of expecting a full bio and and a quote and stuff like that, and, and you don't get that. You just get, uh, you, you get a, a little bit, you get a little bit about the character and... And a picture, and and of course you get to see the the tech spec graph that has like strength and speed and stuff, but but not nearly as much as I would hope. Yeah, you know, I would think that the whole advantage of doing this is that you can put all of that information and have the have the website auto detect the language of the region that it's in that and so then you don't have to have all that stuff written in three languages on the back of the package but they're i feel like they're just not taking advantage of everything that they could do with that i mean honestly you could do a lot more but that's kind of bare minimum and they're not meeting the bare minimum on that it's a, i mean it's a very nice animated character it's it's a nice computer model but anyway uh beyond that let's go to Wild Rider himself, and there he is in his car mode. Uh, his car mode looks great. Y you know, let, let's just start off by saying that the car mode really does look great. I, I love the, the red translucent windows. Uh, the stripe is good. It's got some... some uh, decent paint apps. Yeah, it's not like overboard, but we have painted wheel hubs. Uh, we, we have a mushroom peg there, which honestly that does, doesn't bother me. Uh, it, it's there. It's how they attach the wheel. Move on. Uh, we've got the guns, which just like in the case of drag strip, the guns are the same gun. They are two of the exact same gun rather than being like mirror images of each other or anything, and they can peg together like this. And so actually, uh, you know, this is something that, that Don was talking about during uh, one of our previous reviews that, uh, you know, you could take a whole bunch of these and put them together. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Drag strips guns use a different peg system than the five millimeter peg because, you know, I thought, well, we can at least do this. We, we can do we can do that in fact we could also do that well no we can't do that okay so so yeah we can we we can do this and you know there's there's that that's something that i have done and now 
it'll just go away. So here he is in his vehicle mode. Uh, the vehicle looks really good. I, I already said that, but it does actually look really, really good. So uh, let me close in so you can see uh, how, how nice it is. And uh, yeah, lots of good mold detail there on the hood and, uh, and on the side panels and on the back. So he, he's, you know, he, he's a good looking guy. Um, you know, on the underside, you have a little bit of robot foot. Nobody cares about the underside of the car mode because it just sits on the table like that and it goes and, and stuff like that. So there you go. That is the vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and turn it into a robot, shall we? So we'll, oh, well, we'll even get closer. Yeah, because closer is better. You know, that does look good. It does look good. But we want to, uh, we actually want to back up the camera rather than getting closer so that I can show you the robot mode. So here, uh, here he is in car mode. We're going to start. I don't know. We're, we're gonna. We're just gonna throw him around and hope that he transforms. No. Uh, we're going to open up the fenders in the back here. The feet are attached here, and that allows us to swing the back back part of the car around. He is. Uh, he he's got a a thing that happens here. So we're just going to pull that around like this. And maybe there, and we'll detach the legs. We're going to pull the arms away from the side of the vehicle. We're also going to, we're gonna kind of push up right here. We're gonna do a little thing here. So we're gonna pop that up like this, and that's going to get the windshield out of the way. And then we can take the hood here and so the hood does this. I'm just going to point out that the hood does this, and and I, I I'm not sure I'm not sure why that's necessary because honestly you can turn them into a robot just just by doing this, like like that. So um, yeah, I, I I'm not sure that that that's really all that important, but it does it, and and I guess if. Uh, if you wanted to have the the ends out, like you you can, but that, to me that doesn't really, I, I I don't know that it's it's there it's there you can you can do what you want with it and because it's your toy and if you like doing that then then do it so yeah we're gonna pull those out uh, we are going to finish transforming the legs there's so the knee joints at least on mine are very very sticky. So you yeah, gotta have to pull them to straighten out the leg. Uh, it is a double joint here. So there's, you see how there's a joint here and a joint at the knee and, uh, and they're, they're just a little bit tough. And then you can close up the back of the legs here, flip the feet forward, and that is going to make the, uh, the feet. Uh, I, I kind of want, I, I kind of want these to be the front, but you know that that just looks good to me, but but it's not. You 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 twist the waist, and then you actually have feet, and that looks good too. So you know, I guess which you know that 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 works. Yeah, I, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, you see, I already flipped out one fist and didn't even tell you. I'm going to flip out the other fist, and there it is. And then we open up the chest and fold the head forward, and then close the chest, and. Ba boom we have wild rider and let's put him in a cool pose where he's got like shoulders and 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 stuff cuz you know it's important for him to have shoulders and stuff so so there he is i like the colors on this guy i mean he is he he's actually a, a really nicely colored figure I'll give him some guns because he's he's a bad guy and he he's got he's got guns all the time. He's got two guns that can become one gun. Let's uh, adjust the camera just a little bit. 
There we go. So there he is. And you can see that he's got head articulation. He can say, no, not going to do that. He can say, yes, I can do that. And he's got a shoulder that goes up and down and a bicep rotation and an elbow bend and uh, and pivoting. Well, you know, like like folding in wrists for the transformation, but uh, but it does give him that extra little bit of articulation. He's got a waist swivel. He's got fully functional hips. He can do the splits. He can kick. He can run. He can swivel at his thigh. He can bend at the knee. He's got an ankle tilt, which makes him a very, very nicely articulated figure. And, uh, and, you know, he's, his proportions are decent. Uh, he's, uh, he's got kind of narrow shoulders, but that, that's okay. Like, like, it's not a bad thing. It's just something that makes him a little bit more distinctive in terms of how his robot mode looks. I'm just going to put that panel there so that the camera has an easier time focusing in on him and him alone. So... So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's get closer here so that we can show off some of his glory because he certainly has glory. He's a good-looking guy. Uh, I I like the colors on the face. I like the chest detail. I I mean it's it's subtle, but but it's well done. There's paint detail on the arms here. There's paint detail on the chest. And of course, there was already the paint on the car, the the face. He's got some light piping in the eyes. Uh, it's it's hard to sell, tell that it's there. Um, yeah, I put my finger behind it, and you know you really can't see much of a difference. But there, it is there. And uh, and since since you can, since, since he uh, here, let's get really close. You know, you can see that the eyes are there. They're they're very skinny. They're very sinister looking. So yeah, nice face sculpt too. It's it's just in general a very nicely done toy, which uh, which honestly my opinion of this series of Stunicons has been very very good, and uh, and I know that Don is not uh, not a big fan of the current combination technique, but uh, but I feel like. Like they're doing something a little bit different and and it does have its merits. So yeah, uh, you can see very very clearly here that uh, that he is a very good figure, at least a, a very nice figure in his robot mode. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's cool. So let's go ahead. Of course, we want to combine him because, He's, he's a combiner. He combines with the other Stunicons. We have two right now. We have Drag Strip and, of course, Motormaster makes up the overwhelming bulk of Menasaur. And that's what Don does not like, the fact that he is, you know, Menasaur is effectively standing here, even though he's only made up of two dudes. And, and these guys, they play the role of gap filler. Um, and, you know, I, I get that, but they are using the cartoon likeness from the Gen 1 cartoon as their inspiration for this likeness. And in that cartoon, they would draw it as though most of Menasaur was Motormaster, and then they just kind of stuck on cars on his arms and legs. Uh, so, you know, that's, like, that's... That's accurate. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to set him down. Let, let's go ahead and pull off a leg. Now, unlike the case where drag strip only becomes the right arm, okay? He cannot be used as the left arm. He only becomes the right arm. Uh, Wild Rider can become either leg. So let's go ahead and pop off one of these legs. And uh, you, you see, this is... This is the leg piece with a nice beefy foot. See, this is one of the things that this combination scheme does very well. It gives us nice beefy feet that uh, 
that are stable. It's not the little combiner wars feet that could also be a fist and were only held in by a single five millimeter peg that was rarely strong enough to really hold the character in a lot of good poses. This, this has clickers in it. Uh, it. It's a nice, solid, chunky thing. It's got the knee joint built into it so that our, our combiner robot doesn't have to have the clicker peg built into his chest. So, you know, this does solve a lot of problems. Nonetheless, uh, we're, we're, going to, we're, we're going to turn him back, we're effectively turning him back into a car. So I'm going to flip in the fists and straighten the arms. I'm going to open the chest and tuck the head back and then close the chest. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the car hood. Uh, I'll have the arms out to the sides here, rotate at the waist and, uh, and then open the, the leg doors. So he's got leg doors here. We might as well tip the toes. And then there's, you open that that way and open this that way. There we go. And then we're going to fold the legs around like this. And you see how the feet just kind of go around with everything. And we'll put the legs together. Yeah, there. Put the feet together so that they click into place right back here. And then we close those leg doors. And see, he just has his feet right on the underside there, which is fine. That, that's fine. And so we're going to take the arms and shimmy those into place so that we have most of a car. And now, so here, here's what, what you can do. Uh, the... I guess, I guess these things sort, you know, the fact that this comes apart sort of helps with, no, it, it really doesn't. It, it, I, I don't know why, why this is here. I, I, I don't know what that, that does. But uh, nonetheless, you can have this like this. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to leave the, the windshield dislodged. Uh, and the reason is because they're, they are attempting to do some magic. If you watched my video on drag strip, there was some magic that would happen when you'd combine him with the, uh, with the Menasaur part where you put it on as a car and then you continue transforming things and it unlocks the body so that his body can separate in half without you actually having to take the figure apart yourself. You just put it in, put it on in car mode and transform stuff and then it just comes apart magically. It's, it's really, really cool. So what they've done here to kind of have some sort of magic is you plug the car into, uh, into the bottom here and there's this piece. And when you put the car on, it's going to close those panels and, and kind of make that a solid surface. So uh, th there's the two little five millimeter posts there and there are the two holes here and you're gonna make those align. And so you do that. And while, you do, while you're putting it on there, notice what's happening with the hood is that it's popping out that hood. So there we go. But you're gonna push from down here, okay? That's where all of the force goes and then the rest of them you can click on and then that just pushes this out. And I've noticed that if you don't have the, uh, the windshield already kind of disengaged, it, 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 it's, it doesn't want to do this. Uh, the leverage is just not really good. And I, you know, I, like you can be pushing from here, but, but it's hard to push from here without putting pressure on the windshield, which of course prevents it from wanting to move. So, so yeah, uh, I would just disengage that and then fold that flat. Now, here's the thing. That looks like a foot. That that right there. That that actually looks like a really good foot. That's that's like the, one of the best combiner feet 
that we have seen in the history of the Transformers combining thing over 40 years, but it's not, that's not a foot. This is the foot. This is the heel. You can certainly attach it like this. I've seen pi pictures of people doing this, uh, putting it on like that. And it's like, oh, look, now Menasaur has a, a, a foot and you get to see the Stunicon. The problem is that the knee is now jointed this way. It, 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 so that, that doesn't work. Now, I, I have a suspicion that we will see upgrade kits for, for these guys. And I fully expect to see a, an add-on piece with a knee joint built into it so that you can do this and then have it bend at the knee. Because I feel like even though this is more accurate to the animation model, this this is probably what people want to see. And, and so if you're a third party company, you're probably already in production of this. You're, you're probably already there, but I'm just going to say you could have an add on piece. Look, there, there's the, the, the hole here, the five millimeter compatible hole here, the five millimeter peg here. You could have a piece that sort of looks like this kneecap that just fits on right there and also clicks on around this joint that has a knee joint built into it, like a hinge right back here, and then extend, you know, pops up a second peg up here, effectively making the leg just a little bit longer, but that's not a bad thing. And then, then it would just click on there, like, you know, the, it would click on exactly the same way as, uh, as this does. And, and then, yeah you know, problem solved, but, uh, but you know, we don't, that, that's not how it's supposed to work. So it, it's supposed to go like this. And so when you combine him, then that's what you get. Now I will say that's a great looking leg. Like, even though this is the heel and this is the foot, this is a nice, robust leg. He, he looks he looks good in place. The The little knockout that they have for the wheels it is very nicely done. But, um, but in their zeal to create magic, you know, so that this is all empty and then this fills in, they have also made it so that you can't see any of Wild Rider from the front. You know, like if, if these doors weren't here, then at least I'd be seeing the underside. And I know that the underside isn't particularly pretty, but you'd at least see that there's Stunicon there from the front. And, and now it's all, it's all closed off. That's, and I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm loving what, where they're going with this. I think this is going to be a great combiner, but, but it would be nice to, to have Wild Rider more integrated into the combined form. I mean, you know, like what they did with, with Drag Strip here, having it separate and having it fill in and really make the difference between what would be a very, very skinny arm and a nice beefy robot arm, uh, that, that's really nice. And this does, I mean, you know, obviously this is just a wire frame here. There, there's like no structure. It, it just, it, it looks empty and it's supposed to look empty. Uh, whereas with Wild Rider in place, it now looks full. It looks complete. So, so yeah, um, these are the ups and downs of this, this new combination system, which, uh, which I, you know, at this point, we can get a pretty good idea of what Menasaur is going to look like. And, um, and it's, this is, this is going to be a fantastic combiner. Like, like, despite my, my design critique of some of the, the aesthetic decisions, this is going to be a fantastic combiner and it's going to be super playable. Like, 
you know, whereas with Combiner Wars Menasaur, which I love, it's kind of floppy. Uh, you know, the whole pelvis section is just a hot mess because the legs just don't lock in very well. And the joints are not quite strong enough to really hold the the combined menasaur in pose in cool poses the the combiner feet like the combiner wars feet are terrible they are just you know these little tiny flat things uh it it it, it doesn't work which is why i've gotten so many upgrade kits for my combiner wars guys to give them feet that are effectively more like this so uh so yeah, uh, I think that uh, that this is a whole new standard in terms of uh, of combining. I'm really interested to see if they uh, if they continue this technique with the uh, with the Protectabots and with the uh, Combaticons. I, uh, I I don't see it working with the Aerial Bots. I just I I I, I don't see how this this approach would work with Silverbolt and the other aerial bots. Um, you know, I, I, I could be mistaken. Uh, uh, I can always be mistaken. But, uh, but, you know, I was talking to Don over the weekend and, uh, and we discussed the possibility of just a Titan level Superion, which would actually be pretty cool. So they ignore this combination scheme. They kind of take the approach that they did with Combiner Wars Devastator, where they make Voyager class aerial bot characters that are designed to create a really, really nice Superion robot. And hopefully they do a better job. If they did go that approach, hopefully they would do a better job than they did with the Predacons because Power of the Primes... I, I think it was Power of the Primes uh, Predaking. Disappointing. Disappointing. But, of course, this video isn't about Predaking. This is about... This is actually about Wild Rider. This is about Wild Rider. He's riding wild on the leg of a giant. And so, that is my review. If you like this review, then please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, click the notification bell so that you know when we're doing more of these Short Circuits videos, as well as our live streams, which typically happen every Friday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern United States time. Also, if you're in a position to help the channel grow, we do have a Patreon. Uh, take a look at that. We've got different levels with different rewards as our way of saying thank you so much for your help because we really do appreciate all the help that we can get to help the channel grow and so with that being said we have a very special guest here to thank our patrons that's right it's the chaos bringer himself unicron thank you patrons our ultimate retro heroes. Thank you, Fishbeer, Rob S, Matt White, Starhound, Setsune Wave, Don, Hope and Michael D, and Colleen. Thank you. And now, I would like to eat your asteroid belt, please. It looks like it's very tasty. I'm imagining it's similar to popcorn on your planet. It's asteroids. It's maybe a little bit more like Crunch and Munch. Does Crunch and Munch still exist on your planet? I don't know. It looks delicious. I would really like some crunch and munch, please. It had better still exist, or I will eat your planet. Just saying. Well, thank you for that, Unicron, with that kind of threat at the end. Um, these, 
these are the problems when you invite an ancient chaos god intent on causing the Transformers apocalypse to thank your patrons. Um, showbiz! Jazz hands! I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the, the, this this has completely gone off the rails, so I should probably just uh, just say, this is Clay, and this, it, 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 it still looks like a foot, but it's Wild Rider, and we're both telling you to keep it retro bots. Yeah, we keep it retro bots. And uh, things go off the rails, and I, and I use... But that that term when I'm not even talking about like rail racer or another train guy, I, I should have saved that for like a train transformer. Uh, am I going to be reviewing Loco sometime? Because because I could because that could go off the rails and see then it's a pun, it's like a joke. People get it. They'll say, "Wow, that is clever stuff." Clever, clever stuff. Is anybody still listening? <laughs> 